This lecture is brought to you by Megger, a leading manufacturer of electrical test and measurement equipment. I've trusted Megger's equipment for years and have witnessed firsthand their commitment to education and supporting technical schools across the country. For a limited time, Megger is offering my viewers an exclusive discount on their next purchase on products sold through U.S. distributors. Simply visit us.megger.com slash bigbadtech for all the details. This lecture features the Megger AVO835 Digital Multimeter. The AVO800 series multimeters are as reliable and accurate as the historical AVO units, but now come with a range of features to meet today's standards of electrical testing. For more information on the AVO800 series multimeters and other Megger products, please visit us.megger.com. Amps, volts, ohms, AVO. The Megger AVO835 Digital Multimeter is the one tool that does it all. The Megger AVO835 Digital Multimeter, as the name implies, features multiple tests and measurement functions integrated into a single portable package, including, but not limited to, AC and DC voltage and current measurements, resistance, temperature, phase sequence detection, and more. Today, we'll take a brief look at the AC and DC ammeter functions. Additionally, we'll examine the current frequency measurement function. We'll explore other functions and features of this DMM in other lectures. An ammeter is a device that measures current through a circuit in units of amps. Ammeters are always placed in series with the item under test. The Mega AVO835 offers two ammeter modes, AC and DC, and in two ranges, up to 10 amps and up to 100 milliampers. To select the appropriate range, turn the selector switch to either the amp selection for measurements less than 10 amps or the milliamp selection for measurements less than 100 milliampers. The up to 10 amp range uses this terminal as the input and the common as the output. Similarly, the up to 100 milliampere range uses this terminal as the input and the common as the output. To toggle between the AC and DC varieties, press the yellow mode button in the center. Using an ammeter is a little tricky, principally because it necessitates the user power off the circuit, break the circuit, insert the ammeter in series with the item under test, and turn the circuit back on. Dangerous things happen if you set up the ammeter wrong or put it in a wrong place. If you take your time, follow instructions, and use an ammeter properly, nothing dangerous will happen. As a second line of defense, the Mega AVO 835 takes active measures to prevent one from setting it up an ammeter incorrectly. This is my personal opinion, it's one of the AVO 835's best safety features. The DMM actively closes certain terminals and opens others when a user switches between voltmeter and ammeter mode and vice versa. In voltmeter and ohmmeter mode, the common and leftmost terminals are open and both the ammeter terminals are physically covered. In amp ammeter mode, the common and the amp ammeter terminals are open and the voltmeter terminal is physically covered. Similarly, in milliamp ammeter mode, the common and the milliamp ammeter terminals are open and the voltmeter terminal is physically covered. If leads are already inserted in one position, a user cannot move the selector switch into an inappropriate function set without first removing the leads and reinserting them in a proper terminal. In short, this safety feature actively prevents a user from setting up an ammeter incorrectly if you're ever in a rush. Let's use the AC ammeter function to measure the inrush and the steady state current draw in one phase of a three-phase AC motor. Operated using a 120-volt line-to-neutral, 208-volt line-to-line, 60-hertz, three-phase AC system, this motor under test has a rated current of 1.4 amps. Inrush is typically six times rated current, so we might reasonably expect an initial surge of six times 1.4 amps, or roughly 8.4 amps, upon closure of the manual motor starter. This is well above the 100 milliampere range and inside the 10 amp range. We need to use the ammeter 10 amp range. Turn the selector switch to amps. Power off the power supply. Lock the system out and tag it out. Break the circuit. In this case, we'll break the L1 connection between the manual motor starter and the motor. Now we need to insert the ammeter. Out of the manual motor starter, into the ammeter indoor. Through the ammeter, out of the ammeter common outdoor, into the motor. Clear the lockout and tagout and close the manual motor starter. The ammeter demonstrates the motor experiences an initial surge of maybe 8 amps, which quickly subsides to roughly 1.1 amps at the steady state. While we're here, let's check the current frequency. Press the center yellow mode button twice to change the DMM to current frequency measurement function. Using the up to 100 hertz range, we observe roughly 60 hertz. Let's now demonstrate the use of a DC ammeter inside the 100 milliampere range. Consider a 12 volt DC power supply and a 470 ohm resistor. An application of Ohm's law demonstrates we should expect roughly 25.5 milliampers of current. This is well below the upper limits of the 100 milliampere range. 
turn the selector switch to milliampers. Press the yellow mode button to change DC. Power off the power supply. Break the circuit. In this case, we'll break the positive connection between the power supply and the resistor. Now we need to insert the ammeter. Out of the power supply positive terminal, into the up to 100 milliampere ammeter indoor, through the ammeter, out of the ammeter outdoor, into the resistor. Power on the power supply. The DC ammeter demonstrates this resistor experiences close to 25.5 milliamperes, consistent with our earlier expectations. All right, before we wrap this lecture up, let's quickly learn how to replace fuses on the Mega AV0835 digital multimeter. The ammeter inputs in the Mega AV0835 include fuses designed to rupture in the event the ammeter is deployed incorrectly. Fuses are inexpensive, sacrificial elements designed to blow before anything else more expensive does. Now I know you're smart enough not to damage your ammeter, but look around your lab. Do you trust any of them? My point exactly. Oftentimes in a communal lab setting, several groups share the same equipment, and it's the previous group that has damaged the equipment and left it as an unwelcome surprise for the following group. If your ammeter isn't reading current and your inspection detects no other obvious opens, most likely the fuse for that particular input is blown. In the spirit, here's a quick guide on how to test and replace fuses. The low current 100 milliampere input of the Mega AV0835 has a 125 milliampere fused input, meaning it'll handle, not necessarily read, anything up to 125 milliampere. Beyond 125 milliampere, the fuse element melts and breaks the circuit, saving the ammeter from certain destruction. Similarly, the high current 10 amp input on the Mega AV0835 has an 11 amp fused input, meaning it'll handle anything up to 11 amps. Beyond 11 amps, the fuse element melts and breaks the circuit saving the ammeter from a fiery end. When a fuse on the input blows, that input is rendered inoperable until the damaged fuse is removed and a suitable replacement is inserted. First, an ideal fuse in the attacked and functional state presents zero resistance. Real fuses may exhibit a small or negligible amount of resistance. A blown fuse, in contrast, is an open, presents an infinite resistance. A blown fuse is a sure sign that something went terribly wrong. Replacing the fuses in the Mega AV0835 necessitates a little work. Power off the DMM and remove the leads. Flip the DMM over and locate the two screws holding the battery compartment closed. Unscrew these screws and remove the battery cover. Then locate the six Phillips screws around the perimeter holding the case closed. Unscrew these screws and remove the back cover. The low current 125 milliampere fuse runs horizontally left to right. The high current fuse, in contrast, runs vertically up and down on the left-hand side. Pop out the damaged fuse, replace it with an intact fuse of exactly the same type. Reassemble the DMM and carry on with your mission. All right, that's about it for today. In conclusion, we examine the AC and DC ammeter functions of the Mega AV0835 DMM. Additionally, we learn how to test and replace a damaged fuse. We'll examine other functions and features of this DMM in later lectures. Thank you very much for your attention and interest, and we'll see you again during the next lecture of our series. Remember to tell your Lazy Lab partner about this resource. Be sure to check out the Big Bad Tech channel for additional resources and updates.